Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for this week's Upward Devotion. We've got a lot of great games this weekend. We're having a lot of fun, but let's take a moment now uh, and dig into God's Word as we continue on this journey of faith. So up next, we're going to hear from Susan Broadwell, who's going to talk to us about Moses and good news. Let me tell you a story about um, Moses and the Israelites. Moses was a great man of faith, and he's mentioned in the book of Hebrews. Well, God had a special task for Moses. He wanted Moses to go to Pharaoh and to tell him to let the Israelites go. They had been enslaved for many years, and Pharaoh would not do that. Moses was afraid, but God said, you can do this, I will help you. So Moses went to Pharaoh and told him to let the people go. Well, God sent terrible plagues to Pharaoh and the Egyptians. And whenever um, he sent the last one, it was to kill the firstborn sons. And that was very sad. But Moses um, wanted to do what God had would have him to do. And so Moses said um, that he would lead the people into the wilderness. And so he did. He took off for the promised land. And so God literally provided the food for him each and every day. And when the food rained down from he heaven, the people were... Um, grumbling because they had the same thing to eat every day, just like we do when we grumble about things every day. So God wanted to get the people's attention, so he sent some bad snakes, and they would bite the people and even killed some of them. But Moses, he, was, he cared about the people, so he prayed and asked God if he would heal them. So God told Moses to attach a bronze snake to the pole and that when the people looked at it, that they would be healed. So Moses obeyed and the people were healed. In the New Testament in John 3, there's a Pharisee named Nicodemus who talks to Jesus. And Jesus tells him, just as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on the pole, that he would be lifted up so that he could save his people. And I'm sure Nicodemus didn't understand that but later on did um, because Jesus came to die for us. He died on that pole for us. He died on the cross. And we um, needed to have a personal relationship with him. And so just as the people were saved from looking at the pole, we are saved when we confess to him that he is our Lord and Savior. We are in a broken relationship because of what Adam did in the book of Genesis um, when he disobeyed God. Um, sin is abomination to God. It separates us from him. And so we want to make sure that we are not separated from God. And so that's why we need Jesus in our lives so that we can um, accept him as our Lord and Savior and that we can live with him eternally. And that's what John 3, 16 tells us, is that God sent his only son to die on the cross for our sins so that we might not perish and have everlasting life. And that's in John 3, 16. So I hope you'll consider what we've talked about today and even read the stories and the snake stories in the book of Numbers um, and, and Nicodemus' conversation with Jesus is in John 3. Um, so if you need to um, talk to me, I'd be glad to talk to you about what we've shared today. And I appreciate you listening. <laughs>